Hi, my name is Kelsey Donahoe and I'm 18 years old and I'm a senior at Ballard Memorial High School. Um, I've always lived in Ballard County and I absolutely love it. I love small towns. I love, you know, having close relationships with everyone. It's awesome. Um, I have an older brother and an older sister. My sister is in her early 40s and my brother is in his early 30s. So big age difference, but we have different dads. Um, I have two dogs and I absolutely love them. They're, they bring me good company. They're pretty awesome. Um, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a people pleaser and I try to make everyone happy. And that can be pretty exhausting at times, but I do it anyway. You know, I try to love people as Jesus loved everyone. You know, no one's different than anyone else. He made all of us equal, all of us the same. Um, I'm really trustworthy. If you tell me something, it will stay with me. Uh, it's not my place to judge you or go run and tell your secrets. You know, I would expect someone to treat me that way. So I try to treat others that way. Um, also, I love listening to people, helping people. I just, a lot of people don't really like giving others the time of day, but I just love to hear what people have to say, and I love helping people. Um, and I absolutely love softball. Been playing forever. It's been a big part of my life. We've made a lot of great friends and a lot of relationships that will stick with me for the rest of my life. Um, anybody that knows me, they'll probably hear me talking about either The Walking Dead or Lord of the Rings or softball or God or church or something. Those are my main things. I'm big on movies and sports. And um, one of my favorite quotes, it's actually from the man that wrote all the Lord of the Rings. It's, it's not the size of the body that counts, but the spirit. Um, I think that that can be applied to life in a lot of ways, no matter who you are, where you've been, or where you're going in life. Um, you can do anything you set your mind to. It doesn't matter who you are. You can do anything you set your mind to. You just got to find something to motivate you and push you. And I'm not always one to have a lot of motivation, but you just kind of have to look at the big picture sometimes and rely on Jesus, and you can pretty much get anywhere you need to get in life. Um, my personal goals, I'd like to go to Mid-Continent and play softball, depending on how much scholarship money I can get is what that's kind of dependent on, but we'll see how it goes. But I'd like to go there and major in psychology and counseling, because like I said earlier, I like to listen to people and talk to people. Um, and I got to experience something really awesome um, about a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago, something like that. I got to go to Chrysalis. And if anyone knows what that is, it's like kind of like a youth Christian retreat thing. It's really awesome. Um, and before going into it, I was really nervous about it, and I didn't really know what to expect. And it was kind of like a last-minute decision, and it's kind of a big deal. You get to have some really close encounters with God, and I wasn't sure if I was ready for that. And, you know, I've always gone to church and everything like that, but I was kind of nervous about it, didn't know what to expect. I've heard a, I heard a lot of great things about it, but I get there, and my mother and I, we'd already been arguing the morning before, and I was like 30 minutes late, and I really just did not want to be there. Then we get assigned tables, and that's who you're with the whole weekend. And I had these girls that looked like complete freaks, I'm not going to lie, and I was really nervous about it, and I was like, well, this is not going to work. I'm not going to open up to these girls. They're not going to open up to me. Then I was like, what am I doing? You know, they're this is like such a great opportunity. I really need to just latch onto that and just go with it. So as the weekend went on, it just it just turned into something amazing. It just, I mean, words can't even describe how awesome it was. And I really learned that it's so important to love God no matter what you face in life, no matter what you go through. He's always going to be there for you. And He's always going to love you no matter what. So i made some really great relationships whenever I went to Chrysalis, and hopefully that attitude and that high I was on from being there so close to God, that'll stick with me, and I'll surround myself with people that make me happy.